In round one, your body fired off its emergency response in just 12 milliseconds. But now your mind catches on and everything changes. Round two is where awareness joins the party. The PAG sends a little feedback note up to the thalamus saying either we ran, we fought, or we froze. The thalamus alerts the ACC. The ACC turns that message into pain you can feel. Then it messages its bestie, the insula. So now the insula gets louder, now translating both emotions and body. Then the insula alerts the PCC and the PCC goes, this is happening to me. Then the insula returns the amygdala's message and confirms that this is in fact real danger. That's when cortisol's other converter, norepinephrine, floods your system to keep you hyper alert. In round one, your body moved before your mind could vote. In round two, your mind joins the election and the results are unanimous. We are still in danger. The feedback loop officially begins. This is the stage where fear is experienced. You feel it, name it, and thanks to substance P, you also hurt from it. I hate this one. Well, just stop overreacting then. Thanks, Captain Useless. I'll let my ACC know it's being dramatic while it processes existential terror. Tomorrow, we'll meet the ACC, the brain's integrator, where emotional and physical pain merge and where the fear circuit stops being automatic and starts being personal.